would like to have our energy be as green as possible and uh, sustainable as possible and um, local as well if possible. There's two technologies that we've implemented here at Whole Village that really meet our goals of the type of energy systems we want to have here. One of them is our masonry heater. The wood that we use in the masonry heater comes right off the property. In the wintertime, we'll run it pretty much most days, once a day. In the morning, it burns for about two hours, and, and that's it. It holds onto its heat for the rest of the day. Instead of having like a straight pipe, it goes through a maze of channels. And these channels are made out of masonry pieces. So the whole thing has lots of thermal mass, and so as the exhaust goes through that maze, it's heating up the stove. And as you can see, you know, it's a very large stove, and so there's a lot of thermal mass there, and it holds on to its heat all day long. We have a solar hot water array. It's what's called an evacuated tube system. So it's taking the heat energy from the sun and the visible energy from the sun. Photovoltaics are, are very popular. Uh, people love the idea of turning sunshine into electricity. When that's happening, you basically have visible light being turned into electricity. With a solar hot water system, you have heat energy from the sun creating hot water, but you also have visible energy being converted into, into heat energy. And so you're getting about twice as much energy per square foot with solar hot water heating as opposed to photovoltaics. Another feature of Greenhaven, which is the large home that we built on the property, was finished in 2006. We installed uh, a radiant floor heating system. And first of all, the flooring in the home is, is a poured concrete floor. But basically it's, it's hot water tubes that run through the floor and it circulates hot water through them. And so the floor is the heat source. It has all the benefits of the masonry heater in the way that it heats things with mass. It's not heating the air, it's heating furniture. And counters and countertops and people and it's just more efficient. We have two solar showers in the property but we just built a brand new one. It's a solar hot water system and it's real simple. Essentially you have, you have your collection area. You've got hot water pipes that are behind glass. Everything's painted black. When water heats up it becomes less dense so it has to go up. And so we have the solar collectors below the tank. So when you've got the water in the collector, it heats up, becomes less dense, and moves up into the tank, and it automatically draws colder water from the bottom of the tank down into the collectors. Well, I mean, one of the big things about Whole Village that people quite often notice is that we're not off the grid. With a community this size to go off the grid, it would be a very large operation. I mean, we have made some strides towards it. We put up an anemometer up on one of the highest points in the property to see what kind of a resource we would have for wind power. But at the end of the day, it's a lot of money to invest. Part of the answer as to why we're not off the grid is because we're Westerners and we use a lot of electricity. And people that have gone off the grid, a lot of them, the first thing they do is they actually look at how much money can they afford to spend on a system? And how much electricity will that system give them? And what can they run off of it? And they start, you know, coming up with an energy budget. But when you plug into the grid, you don't need an energy budget. You can basically run whatever you want as long as you're willing to pay for the electricity. And so you sort of have to do that first. You almost have to say, okay, what are we going to run off of electricity? and you really have to sort of start there. You have to reduce the amount of things that you run on electricity to create an affordable system. And so that's a big stumbling block. And ultimately, Whole Village is an attempt to be a permanent human settlement that meets as many needs as possible of the residents and also hopefully be a net exporter of food off the property. We want to constantly be striving towards being energy efficient, being local as possible with our energy choices, and as environmentally friendly as possible.